Mankind has had an affinity for the ocean since our earliest beginnings. Near or far, the ocean draws us in. The longer you stare at the ocean, the more you take in its wonder. The deeper you go, the more you appreciate its complexity. On the surface, a family is awed by one of the ocean's top predators, the orca. This particular pod was first sighted in 1991 in Monterey. It migrates there each year to feed in the nutrient-rich waters. But what this family doesn't see is the complex web of life that supports the orca's existence. This is the story of that web, the critical link between the microscopic plankton the coral, octopi, sea lion, and orca. In 2010 and 2011, Oceana set out to explore the complexity of West Coast seafloor habitats. With a remotely operated vehicle and a suite of underwater cameras, Oceana sought to document the diversity of seafloor life. As the ROV drifts down into the abyss, a rare light is cast onto an otherwise dark world. Landing on the soft substrate of the seafloor is like arriving on another planet. It appears flat and barren, but in fact, it is teeming with life. In the benthic zone, it seems like something is ready to lurch from the darkness at any moment. The swimming crustacean, shrimp are filter-feeding benthic animals that live close to the sea floor. Their abundant numbers make them a favored food for larger animals, from fish to whales. The dark, muddy sediments boulders, sand, and bedrock make up the landscape of the eerie seafloor. Without light from the sun, energy down here comes from organic debris that sinks down. Organic waste and decaying matter sustain a plentiful benthic food chain. Brittle stars appear in incredible numbers, awkwardly scooting themselves along the sandy seafloor, feeding on anything they can find. These small invertebrates are underwater architects, burrowing into the soft bottom, making mounds, tracks, and depressions that create habitat for other marine life. Traveling up from the sandy seafloor, this rockfish finds himself amongst a shale bed as he circles a vibrant fan of Gorgonian coral. Shale beds are a type of rocky reef that offer protection from open ocean predators. The result, a myriad of life hiding in its nooks and crannies. In addition to the crevices provided by the shale rock, the coral gardens create a haven for smaller juvenile fish. Corals are among the oldest living animals on the planet. Some are more than 4,000 years old. They're not one animal, but hundreds of tiny individuals living as part of a colony. It can take hundreds of years to grow into gardens. 
These colorful creatures are some of the most striking yet fragile inhabitants of the sea floor. But shale beds are not without risk from predators. The Pacific octopus frequents the beds to hunt. Octopi are masters of deception and contortion. Even the small crags and cracks can't keep them out. Octopi are important to the ecosystem as they play a vital role in the ocean food web. Living on a diet of small fish and invertebrates, they become the food source for sea lions and sperm whales, completing the circle of life. Closer to the surface, the ROV passes rocky pinnacles decorated with an explosion of color. Pinnacles are rocky vertical spires that can extend hundreds of feet above the surrounding seabed. They help nutrient-rich ocean water rise from the deep through a process called upwelling. The micronutrients it provides create a feeding frenzy and swarms of krill. Krill, a smaller relative of the shrimp, helps support the foundation of a healthy marine ecosystem. These tiny creatures support the abundance of whales on the west coast. A blue whale can eat as much as two tons of krill every day. It depends on them for survival. The pinnacles attract all sorts of life, like this decorator crab who fashions a headpiece as camouflage while it hunts. All of these habitats support an abundance of life throughout the food web. Unfortunately, these safe havens are under threat of destruction. The biggest threat? Bottom trawling. Bottom trawlers drag large nets weighing as much as several tons each across the seafloor to catch fish that live on or near the ocean bottom. They effectively clear-cut everything living on the seafloor and crush the fragile habitats needed for fish and other marine life. Species like corals that have taken hundreds of years to grow can be dead in an instant. All that's left behind is a wake of rubble. Fortunately, there is still time for change. Oceana, the world's largest conservation group solely dedicated to protecting the world's oceans, works with scientists, lawyers, fishermen, and U.S. ocean policymakers to protect seafloor habitat from destructive fishing gear, including bottom trawlers. In 2006, the Oceana approach was implemented by the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration as they protected 140,000 square miles of ocean habitat from bottom trawling along the coast of California, Oregon, and Washington. Since then, even more areas have been protected, but they are at constant risk of being reopened to bottom trawling. And many other unprotected areas are still suffering from this practice. Oceana's efforts to document unexplored seafloor areas will help secure additional protections. With new advances and fishing gear available, we must transition to sustainable fishing methods. We have the tools available, but we must ensure that they are applied. From the tiny krill to the magnificent orca, everything in the ocean is linked. Ensuring the health of the species on the seafloor will benefit the entire food web, giving us fish to catch and whales to marvel at for generations to come. <laughs>